Do you have what it takes to be an astronaut? Today, we're going to put you to the test to see if you have the skills to do one of the coolest jobs in the universe. As I mentioned, we're going to be doing some tests today. And to make it even more real, we've got this really awesome outfit for you. This is real. <laughs> My name is Carly Noon and I'm an astrophysicist. I've recruited a group of wannabe astronauts to help show you how the tests are done. NASA. Cool. When you travel into space, there is a limited amount of objects you can take with you. How do you judge what's more important? Is a first aid kit more important than a compass? Is it more important than food or water? Let's test your problem solving skills and see if you know what's important to take in a space emergency. All right. Okay, so I'm going to give you a scenario. Let's imagine that you are a member of a space crew. Your mission is to meet the mothership at a specific place on the moon. Suddenly, your spaceship breaks down. In the emergency landing, lots of the equipment is damaged. And to survive, you have to take only the most important things with you. In front of you, there are 15 items on a list which are undamaged. You need to prioritize the items which you and your four person crew will be able to carry. So you need to place a number one by the most important item and a number two. Have you started? No, I just wrote four people. Number two by the second most important, all the way up to 15. You only have two and a half minutes to do oh, this. Oh, okay. Right. So you have to do it quite quickly. Do you have any questions? No, that sounds great. All right, on your marks, get set, go. Hmm. Um, well, I'll go water is number one, because you're not going to get too far as a human without that. What are we going to do with a life raft? <laughs> the sea of tranquility is pretty empty, I think. Would a compass work there? Okay. You've got a minute and a half to go. So does this compass, is it built for Earth or for the moon? Time is of the essence. Probably. In fact, maybe that's number one, actually. And time's up. Pen's down. I uh, missed the self-inflating life raft. So, how do you feel about your answers? Yeah, pretty good. I feel reasonably confident. Do you feel like you and your crew would survive? Um, yes. <laughs> How would you act in a space emergency? If you want to go, you can download the list. We'll put a link in the description. What are your top three? Number one, I had oxygen, and I had a portable heating unit, and then I had the solar-powered FM receiver. Water, oxygen, and the solar-powered FM receiver. So I went number one as water, number two food, and number three as the radio receiver. What is the heating unit for? Uh, well, keep me warm. The side that faces the sun is actually really warm. Okay. Where was the compass on your list? The compass was ninth. I wasn't sure whether a magnetic compass would actually work on the moon or not. The magnetic field on the moon is not uniform. It's also not polarised. Yeah. So you would get different readings depending on where you are. So that item is actually completely useless. Useless. Bum, bum. In your mind, mm. what is the least important item? Um, the self-inflating life raft. I just couldn't understand what possible use I could have for that. The self-inflation aspect of this raft mm. requires compressed gas. Now, compressed CO2 gas is actually really useful for propulsion systems. Yeah, right. You have done quite well. You had the first and second correct and the last correct. So in summary, you haven't done great. <laughs> I feel the oxygen was a major oversight. 